So guys, Pymol is a protein visualization software and uh, it is a cross-platform molecular graphics tool that is used for the three-dimensional visualization of uh, proteins, nucleic acids and small molecules. The algorithm for this software is Python-based uh, which facilitates the drug design and the molecular simulation. Now we are moving towards the application of this software. Uh, I removed the previous small molecule and now I'm actually fetching the protein molecule. Um, I'm going to fetch a protein with the code 1, T, 3, C. So uh, this is the ubiquitin protein which is a regulatory protein and uh, I want to see uh, with which uh, protein molecule this ubiquitin protein uh, you know, attaches very well. Uh, I can see uh, here, you see that uh, there are uh, the states that this kind of protein do have. So this uh, ubiquitin protein do have 10 form of uh, states. And uh, if I want to see these states to play, I can write here in the comment line as M play, and then enter. So this will start to play, but it's uh, too vibrant and it's too, uh, speedy so uh, I can lower down its speed by going to movie and then uh, frame rate to five so now it's moving a bit slower and uh, now I want to stop it so I can write here as M stop and then enter so it has stopped now uh, I can also you know uh, play the states there by clicking uh, this play button and by stopping it by clicking here at the stop button as well I have fetched this ubiquitin protein. Now I want to fetch uh, another protein with the code 1J7 for enter. Uh, I don't want to see the water molecules here, so I will go and uh, I will uh, go to action and then I will uh, tell them that I don't want the water molecules, so I will remove the waters. Uh, this is a uh, clean protein with no water. Uh, now I'm going to fetch another protein for me and I will write here the code um, which is 2GMI. Uh, again, I don't want the waters. I will go to action and then I will uh, remove the waters. So yes. Uh, what is my purpose behind this? I want to see that uh, the uh, where at which place the ubiquitin binds to this uh, uh, two GMI protein and at which place uh, the one J seven four protein binds to this particular uh, to this particular protein and that's why I'm fetching multiple proteins here. I want to see the interaction between the ligand and the ubiquitin protein. Uh, uh, this uh, this uh, approach is particularly important in the drug screening and the drug design. Uh, we can also use it in the uh, enzymology uh, subject area, in which we want to see the uh, you know uh, uh, the linkage between the substrate and the uh, and the enzyme molecule. Uh, we can also see the effect of inhib inhibitors uh, by, you know, customizing the uh, structure for enzyme and then attaching the inhibitors with the enzyme and then see the change in the structure of the enzyme and uh, and if the uh, real substrate comes and it is not attached with the uh, with the catalytic site or the active site, then why is it so? Why did the structure get disturbed? So there are various approaches, uh, there are various applications that you can use this Pymol software for. Uh, so coming back to uh, ubiquitin story. Okay, so scientists can use two, uh, uh, can use uh, two approaches align uh, by either aligning the things or by superimposing the thing. So I'm going towards uh, superimposing. Uh, phenomena which is uh, you know more reversed and it's uh, more easy to do so I will write here uh, as super 1 T 3 Z comma 2 G M I so the ubiquitin got attached with 2 G M I protein I also want uh, to super the superimpose the 1 J seven four comma 
to GMI protein center. And yes, it has got attached with this particular protein like that. So why am I fetching, uh, why I have fetched uh, uh, three different proteins and that, then now I'm superimposing the things? Uh, because I want to see at uh, which place the particular protein gets attached and very much fit to that place. Uh, I also don't want to see this uh, pink area and uh, it, it doesn't look good here. So again, I will see the uh, sequence for that particular protein. And uh, this uh, pink area is showing up that uh, this GMI protein is here and uh, it is not bounded with any other kind of protein. So I just uh, dra uh, click and drag the arrow button. And uh, I will drag it to the place uh, till, uh, till the area I want to hide. So I want to hide all this area. Now I will, uh, you know, uh, rename this uh, selection as, I will now rename this selection as, uh, uh, I will rename it as uh, unalign, un align uh, unalign and enter so I want to hide this so I will click on hide and I will ask them to hide everything so now wow we are now left with this these uh, three proteins superimposed with each other so I want to see that at which state this ubiquitin bind to this protein fitly. So how can I uh, search for it? I can simply play the uh, uh, the states for ubiquitin, and then you see uh, the different states will appear here, and I will see at which state this ubiquitin binds very fitly. So the uh, the five state is you know, the state that binds very uh, fitly with this ubiquitin protein. You see here? Uh, we are not considering this uh, loop area because uh, it's not very into this structure and we can ignore it for a while. Uh, you see that uh, uh, the coils uh, are overlapping with the coils of the second protein and uh, this, this is why we are using this software to see the interaction about, among different proteins uh, and to see that uh, by attaching different residues, what kind of conformational changes occur in the protein. Thank you very much for watching.